Last week we talked about three things that could help you generate a little bit more power, generate a little bit more speed. So the first thing that um, I talked about was space. So today's video is about space. How do we create space for your hand so that your hand can create speed? So two things that I want you to concentrate on. Number one, your hips. And number two, throwing with your hand. So let's start with your hips. So I want to give you an analogy. I want you to picture yourself digging a hole. So we're going to keep your legs on the ground and we're going to use the upper body to dig the hole. So we're going to keep those legs on the ground and then we're going to dig. Okay. So you don't ever see yourself digging a hole, lifting your whole body, right? Because you're going to lose your balance. So we're going to keep your legs on the ground and we're going to twist the hips so that we can get rid of whatever it is, the sand. The so when you're playing tennis, we need to try and rotate the hips so that your arm gets in the right place to start pushing. So in order to rotate your hips, you have to loosen up your hips. So I want you to picture yourself with two big staples on each side of your hips you would end up doing something like this, right? So take those staples out and let's see if we could let your hips rotate so that they would look like in the example of digging a hole. So we're going to try and plant your feet. When it comes to the rotation, we have to make sure that your arm and your upper body are rotating at the same time. We don't want the upper body rotating first and then the arm coming up. So we're going to go together, your arm and your upper body. And then once your chest is facing the net, we're going to start to throw your arm forward and your hand forward. Now, when you start the throwing motion with your arm, you need to try and keep your body waiting for your arm and your hand to finish the stroke. Now, when it comes to throwing your arm, I want to give you another analogy. Picture yourself bowling. So we're going to try and release that ball as far away as you can. You don't want to release here. We go back to the example of alligator hands. So we want to try and stretch that arm, get as close as you can to your target, release as far as you can. So once you finish throwing, it's time to rotate. That's today's video. I hope that helps. See you next time.